so let's talk about physics my favorite subject and yeah so what i did for physics first of all understanding the concepts ncrt book i did not find it that helpful to read for first time was like you're reading the chapter for the very first time no ncrt how i went on about it first of all step one i read the chapter from where i read it first from hcv hc verma sarka book i understood Did not, I did not understand it the very first time. I read it a couple of times, like two to three times. I read the chapter, and then I understood it. And then I read from NCERT, and then I watched many videos to understand the concept. So after studying the chapter, after understanding the basic concepts of every chapter, I watched the videos to understand it even more. I used Lighthouse by Physics and Walter Lewinson's lectures, and the most importantly, NV Sir. University में जरा सी भी feel ना है. Tell me, direct feel दिलाऊंगा. Lectures like they are just amazing. Physics वाला sir obviously. Namo calls are especially for mechanics. That is all I use for physics. Problem solving. What I did was uh, I first looked at the solution of each and every question. Understood the procedure to solve that, and that's what I did on day one. Let's say, and then after a few days, I would go back to those same questions, and I would solve, try to solve them without looking at the solution. And if I can solve them, then well and good. And if I cannot, then I will again look at the solution and see how the procedure was. And then I just repeat this over and over, solving it, then coming back, trying to solve. I can't, then solve it again. And I just did that for each and uh, as many questions as possible from as many sources you can. And if you solve the HCV question sequentially, you will understand that. Every next question is built upon the concept of previous question, and then coming to books, what all books I used? So I used D. C. Pandey sir's uh, all those five volumes uh, for J. E. Uh, I like that because they uh, inside that book they uh, he has those concept problems where uh, he explains like what all type of questions can come from a specific concept. but it's not really that necessary with respect to neat because complex problems aren't really asked in neat like they are but then you are given a time crunch to solve so not really that much even they know that you have to solve every question in 1 minute so they make sure you are able to do that i also use dc pandey's neat version uh, it has it's just question bank and i use hcv like i said and previous year questions it uh, this is book called universal i think and uh, it has all the previous year questions so make sure you solve that because mostly previous year questions are repeated like not exactly repeated but then the con- only those concepts are repeated most of the time and that's it the main thing to go on about physics is uh, practice 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 solve as many as questions as you can and all the best if you have any more questions just comment down below i'll try to answer them yeah